Hey everyone, welcome back. I uh, am filming this video because I haven't been doing a lot of little extra content lately and I filmed this like halfway through the process. I'm redoing my setup of my little desk here. I needed to resort my glios. I have quite a bit and I figured why am I not filming this? I could take you along on the journey of what I'm like thinking with all my different glios figurines as you can see i already got some of it done we got the nice mangalore set up here gotta get some lights underneath these shelves i think and i got all the armivores which look pristine and awesome i love how this is looking so far uh what i'm thinking let's let's go over what i'm thinking i am thinking we do some crazy bones up top here which is why i've got some stuff already set up a little bit I'm thinking mcdonald's crazy bones i want to showcase them some more they're great figures to put up in display you can see them nice and clearly they're you know the bigger size so i think that's what i'm going to put here uh this whole shelf is gonna be glios and whatnot and then of course over here i do have my other glio shelf which was already full i did have my armivores here but as you can see, they've grown, so I had to switch it up a little bit. This is going to be these guys now, some bigger little figures and whatnot. And uh, skeletons are going to remain the same. This shelf is going to remain the same. And then I think I'm probably going to have to redo these two as well, because I have way more God Beasts now, and I'd like to have them all in the same spot. Way more Biomaster, so that's going to have to get switched up. I've got lots of different stuff on my desk currently that was on my shelves that's now just down and in a mess and all over my desk so lots of glio still to go and to sort and put up and you know obviously i want to add more crazy bones got to showcase them a little bit more on the shelves as well so we got to figure that out so we'll just keep going from here and uh, see what happens i think i'm probably going to redo some of the wall of madness over here too in fact up here at the top you can see some of the figures are gone with my shaky hand that's because those figures were over there and those guys are going to go up here now we'll see what else happens with the wall of madness i'll probably shift this around a little bit more make it a little bit more cohesive and whatnot i'd love to put more displays up on the wall of madness too kind of like the cray booths maybe some more cray booth little showcases or uh, maybe even put some more McDonald's toys over here. Why not? I don't know. We'll see where the night takes me, but this will probably be a little bit more of a shorter vlog thing just to kind of showcase some of the stuff and the little process that will be showcased in all the videos coming up in the future for the rest of the content for the month and whatnot. So hopefully I can get this done pretty quickly and it's not too bad and I don't get like crazy overwhelmed or anything. There is a lot uh, to sort through and deal with, but it'll be fun. We're going to work on this one next. Can you see me in the frame? I don't know if you can see me in the frame. I'm gonna cross my fingers that you can. We're gonna work on this one next. <laughs> Bigger figures, the giant super cray booths. I love these guys. I would love to get more of them. I don't have a ton, but I do have a good perfect little six of them. So I can put like a couple on each side and then have some things in between. But they are a little dusty. So we gotta try to get some of the dust off of them. Unfortunately, these vinyl figures and my upstairs room that I have them all in is just a dust magnet, unfortunately. Oh, love this guy. Absolutely love this guy. It's a Halloween Super Cray Booth. I forget what he's actually called, but he's got the nice orange and black. All right, let's think about this a little bit. Something kind of, sort of, and then I've got this piece I think I'll put in the middle here. And I have some other bigger, like, Biomaster pieces that I'd like to display, so I think these guys are going to go up there. Okay, these guys are looking pretty good. I need to fill it out a little bit more. Okay, all right. That's pretty clean. Nice and lean and clean. I like it. Now, that wasn't a lot of figures and I still have a lot more to do. So we got to start pulling these guys down here off the shelf. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you guys totally couldn't see my face in those other shots, could you? All right. I like this. I like it, but uh, we've got to change it up. Actually, I think we might. Hmm. Maybe we just make this God Beast. I mean, we've got a good amount here. We just got to pull down a couple of like the spaced out design stuff. We can make this whole shelf God be stuff, I guess. Everything is so dusty, though. That's the problem. Okay, we got lots and lots of God Beast figures here. So let's uh, throw them down and get them up on the shelf. I love this one. This one's one of my favorite Kabuto Mushis. It's the Mandalorian and Grogu one. Fantastic. <laughs> 
Okay, that was a pretty easy conversion. I've got a couple more here. They're blanks, and I'd actually really like to build with these guys, so I'm just gonna hang on to them and put them in my extra spare box part and do something with them eventually. This bottom shelf was always kind of a mess. It has a range of figures back from when I first started getting huge lots in and stuff, so we've got uh, a bunch of different things from Cappy Space to O'Neill stuff, Mighty Maniacs, Crayboots, you name it. So I think this whole shelf is just going to get redone and pulling everything off. I have a ton of fade-ins. I think they're going to look better up top on the top shelves. They're a little bit smaller in height. They'll fit a little bit better on the tiered step system I have going. So I'm going to take all those, probably put them up there. <laughs> ran out of memory so I had to go chuck that on my laptop really quick so now that we're at a breaking point we've done a lot of glass let's get into some crazy bones I'm gonna set up the McDonald's first <music> so far it's looking pretty clean i am pretty darn happy with it i uh i did not tack down any of the crazy bones so if anybody bumps my table i am gonna be a very very sad man uh yeah i'm happy about these glow in the dark little whatever you call these apartments i don't know they i think it's gonna look really cool with the light shut off too this area maybe could use some work, but it's kind of nice. I can start lining some little gaps here and there with other figures and whatnot. This just looks freaking awesome. I love how the Glio section turned out. Just packed. Just absolutely packed. It looks incredible, though. All right, I got the lights off now except for one, so I'm going to crank it off. We're going to check out how this looks. Oh, oh, oh my. Yes absolutely yes that looks freaking awesome all right i can't i can't see where's the light ow we're not done though we're we're absolutely not done we still got this area uh i might try to squeeze a figure or two onto that shelf i did end up putting one of the big god beast figures right in front here on this shelf so redid that one just a hair uh but this one is empty so we gotta sort that one out a bit probably with some biomaster some stonum and the mischievers or something. I don't know. I've got some Feos here. We'll see. That's pretty much all that's left. I'm going to have to find a new area for my awesome looking Gundam. Clean up the little bottom part of the desk a little bit more too. We'll see. I'm debating on if I should keep the pops. Might try to revitalize that area with something else. I don't know. First things first, we're going to put in the Stonem guys, one of my favorites. I think that looks pretty good. We're out of memory again. I'm not super happy with how this side is coming out. The Cappy Space guys I would like to put there, but I need to balance it with some higher figures or something. There we go. I threw in the rest of them. That's going to just have to do for now, and I'll have to fill in things as we go i might get some jenga bricks or something and lift him up a little bit because that that part's still bugging me more than this i know i'll fill that in eventually but this will probably stay so it'd be nice to get him up a little bit higher and i still have 
all my Theos guys that, oops, I just don't know what to do with. I'd like to put them in a spot, uh, but I don't know where to put those. And I, I don't know if I talked about this. I really like shelf space here. I think that would be ideal, especially for the extra Theos. And I've got a few other things, more Theos. I've got extra ones I could put up if I wanted, but uh, it's mainly going to be like the Theos and stuff. I think that'd be like the perfect spot to just place a few more things. So, but everything else, you know, it's the next day, took some rest, finished it up. It's looking pretty good, and I'm still very happy with it. Ooh, that looks clean with it in the background already. It's all nice and filled in. I'm really digging that. That's gonna look, it's gonna look really good for videos. I remembered I had my Craybooth display here. I've got tons of Craybooths that I had displayed up on the wall, up in that empty spot there. I just took them off, they all fell. That's unfortunate because these things are kind of a pain in the butt to display. But I think I am going to put them where the little pop Funko Pop guys are, take a few of them down or something and place it in that shelf system. I think that might look pretty nice. Yeah, we gotta keep the She-Hulk statue. That thing needs to stay, it's one of my favorites. I'm gonna put whites in the back, I think, because they're a little bit brighter. You'll be able to see them a little bit easier. I'm gonna have to get me more Jenga bricks, but I think this is gonna work out quite nice to do a double stack on each row. I could have used more Jenga pieces for the Crazy Bones. I would like to make a more Jenga-fied Crazy Bone display too because it does work well for them. So if anybody's trying to display Crazy Bones, quick, simple, easy way, go to the dollar store, grab some Jenga bricks, bang, there you go. You can build your own little setup however you want. But since, you know, Cray Booths are almost the same size, it's gonna work great for them too. I still have so many blues and blacks to go through. Wow, okay. Checking to make sure I didn't miss any, but there we go. That looks pretty clean. I am digging that. I really had to tuck them in there, but it looks better than it was before, honestly, in my opinion. And it looks pretty freaking sweet with the whole theme here. We even have them integrated into the She-Hulk statue here, which is kind of nice. A little element of a uh, little background or something going on. Kind of neat. But overall, that is solid. Okay, I'm 100% done with all my Goliaths. I came over here and I kind of forgot that I had this shelf that I could put the rest of them on. So I redid this shelf a little bit, got the rest of them up there. They look pretty nice. Got my Faos, got the other random miscellaneous ones that are out of bags up on a shelf. Looking pretty nice. So now you guys have seen pretty much all my open up Goliaths that I've gotten over the past two years here or so. Maybe it's three. I don't even know. It's probably not been that long. I'm pretty crazy with those things. But now we've got the wall. I'm not really feeling like I want to do it. I've got one space that I need to fill and sort out how I want to fiddle with it. Uh, unless I just want to redo the whole thing, which honestly, I'm tired. I'm kind of done. I just want to have my setup back and start filming and start editing. I already do have my laptop out here and I'm starting to already edit the video that you've been seeing me film because I've needed to dump footage on there and stuff. So I just want to edit it so I can get it out. Still have not found a place for any of my Gundam. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do with that. And I got to clean up this desk, but this is just a bunch of junk and stickers and all sorts of shenanigans. So that's not a huge deal. I just got to tidy it. Uh, it'd be cool if I could put the Gundam here, but I don't have any more display stands. So yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, screw the wall. I'm just going to stick with this. I've done enough work and I need to get this video out, but come on. This looks fantastic. I'm super happy with it. I mean, come on, the, the framing here, the framing for the new videos and stuff looks fan freaking tastic. I absolutely dig it. Nobody shake my desk. I will not be happy. It's bound to happen. I have three kids, so I'm just going to prepare myself for that moment. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, stay tuned for more GoGo's Crazy Bone content coming soon. It is the Halloween season. I've got ghosts to open up. I've got McDonald's Crazy Bones, the Halloween themed ones. We're going to open up some more of those coming up in the next few weeks and probably do some more Glios builds or something like that too. I've got some few inspirations that I've found and I think I might want to build with you guys. So stay tuned for those. Have a great week and we'll see you guys in 
the next video.